Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. Thank you for watching. Now as this nation's leading liberalologist, I am working to find a cure for liberalism in our lifetime. This insidious malady is described by some as cancer of the soul. Now liberalism affects people and institutions in all 50 states, <laughs> some more than others. It is spread verbally and children and people with poorly developed truth detection ability are most susceptible to being infected. If you believe you are dealing with a person who suffers from liberalism, look for the following symptoms. First, delusions of intelligence are painfully obvious with the liberal absolutely convinced that he or she is intellectually superior to others, <laughs> even though their words and actions clearly prove otherwise. Liberals cling desperately to these delusions and are often found lurking in the shadowy bowels of universities and colleges where they can maintain their illusion of superior intelligence. It's easy to make yourself look intelligent when surrounded by uneducated youngsters. Those who suffer from liberalism studiously avoid honest debate with knowledgeable adults because such contact threatens to destroy their fantasy world. Which brings us to symptom number two, truthophobia. Liberals are truthophobic. In fact, many observers believe they are literally allergic to certain universal truths. Now, two plus two equals four doesn't seem to affect them much, but look a liberal right in the eye and say, one man, one woman, and watch what happens. Moral truth can often cause severe reactions in those suffering from liberalism. Now, I know I shouldn't have fun with it, but one of my hobbies is what I call throwing holy water on vampires, which by that I mean really just speaking bold truth to liberals. But they act just like vampires in movies. Speak moral truth to them and they hiss and shriek, their voices get all squeaky and they run away calling you names. I know, I know, it's kind of like picking on the handicapped, but hey, everybody needs a hobby, right? Besides, I figure it's good exercise to get them to run and curse. Which brings us to liberal symptom number three, the liberal Tourette syndrome. When confronted with moral truths, liberals seem unable to stop themselves from using foul language and name calling, with the big four, racist, Nazi, bigot, hate monger, at the top of the list. So where does liberalism start, people ask? Well, my Wild Bill research indicates that liberalism is closely linked with the childhood issue known as the terrible twos, the time when a child perceives the entire world as belonging exclusively to him or her. All other human beings that exist are considered trespassers and are only there to serve the child. Now, most children grow out of this stage by learning the golden rule, a moral truth. Other children leave the terrible twos behind with the help of a sound paddling of their little butts. Some, sadly, however, carry the terrible twos on into adulthood. In fact, the word progressive refers to adults who are still trying to progress beyond the terrible twos. Now, those are difficult cases. The golden rule makes them hiss, curse, and run away, and many think that adult liberals are too old for a whipping. Additional research in that area could prove to be very beneficial. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and God bless America again.